Hello everyone, I'm Jay with Aving News and today I am with Dr. Jung, who is the CTO of CIT. Dr. Jung, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Uh, can you tell me a little about your company and, and what you guys are uh, working on? Actually, uh, I have been working quite long with copper. Uh, my original uh, major was uh, dielectric material and, and magnetic material, but uh, from a certain point I started to study copper because copper is a very attractive material you know that so actually uh, copper is a very common material everybody knows but sure. if you make it in a single crystal then the property of a material changes a lot single so, crystal single crystal okay so maybe it sounds a little bit weird that uh, copper become single crystal right usually the people believe single crystal would be looks like a gem or, or diamond like but that, that's what I'm imagining yeah yeah people imagine normally but the single crystal means the alignment of uh, atoms atom aligned perfectly along one direction then we can call that a uh, crystal okay so we deposit on sapphire or, or MGO or we use the silicon as a substrate and then the structure of the same film follows from substrate therefore is very hard to control, but our new technology is to develop that single crystal structure from the substrate without uh, uh, without having the influence from the su substrate structure. Uh, is your company based out of Korea? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Maybe uh, we will establish the uh, workstation or a f a fabric in in Busan, but uh, I mean. Uh, we can extend it widely internationally. So, so it's, it's first starting domestically with the with the hopes and the goals of going international. When did you find? Or when was your company founded? Uh, this year, uh, much. Uh, I was started quite long uh, with copper, but the our company is started in this uh, March. Yeah. And, and what what inspired you to start your company? Actually, I had a, a friend working in that uh, Teflon company. And then he asked me to deposit copper on Teflon. So actually, the people failed always the, to the deposit copper on, on Teflon. But uh, when we, uh, we, because we developed the new method to deposit copper on uh, various uh, substrate, mm -hmm. therefore we succeeded and then he uh, found that it's a very special technology. So, and then finally we, uh, discussed to collaborate uh, and then we open a new company. So. <laughs> Can you talk about your key product and technologies? What makes CIT so unique? So uh, we can actually uh, make the single crystal cable. Single crystal cable, it is made of single crystal wire and then we can transfer that signal without any noise. So grain boundary scattering of electron make noise and the, which was actually ignored by the people so because the people had no idea about that. Mm. But now we no, understood what happened with a single crystal. Therefore, we will do everything with single crystal in our business. But the first uh, topic is we can uh, produce the uh, electronic circuit deposited on Teflon and then it may be used for a uh, uh, flexible PCB board, a flexible uh, FCCL, maybe a flexible copper cladel laminated. Okay. So uh, it will be used for flexible PCB. And then uh, we, you can replace in that iPhone or in Galaxy that uh, PCB board to be uh, flexible. And then uh, it has very low uh, dielectric constant and dielectric loss. And then the signal can be transferred uh, very uh, natively. Therefore, we have we save the power and we save that uh, many information. Uh, therefore, we have advantages for that. Yeah. Do you see this only be applicable to phones, to many different various applications? Mm -hmm. You talked about Galaxy phones as an example. Yeah. Example, but this flexible yeah. PCB board, yeah. it can be used in various applications, correct? Yeah, Anything right, that right. requires Any, a flexible yeah, PCB yeah, board. Yeah. In audio uh, device or in many uh, measurement system, and if you have uh, some uh, uh, like a big, big
big facilities like a M N M R M R I mm -hmm. or other SAM and uh, observation system, you can apply everywhere. So it is flexible, and you can save that sp space in that uh, in that pattern or in that system. So it is an advantage. So. What's your development process like? Obviously, this is not a yeah, normal development yeah. process. Actually, uh, about this uh, technique, we published a paper in Nature. Okay. So this technology was introduced, and usually, if you deposit the film on this different substrate, uh, at the sputtering process, uh, usually the people prefer to use MB or PLD or a very high expensive facility. but. Uh, spot system is the cheapest one, and uh, but uh, advantage is we can deposit in vapor scale, and we can make a, a larger scale deposition possible. So, uh, in this case, uh, uh, the problem was at the sputtering process we have a lot of uh, atoms and as a cluster. Okay. So the cluster comes to the substrate, and then the clusters deposited arbitrarily, and then. Adhesion uh -huh. become very bad. Therefore, it is separated simply. But if we deposit at the deposition process, we reduce all noise uh, which can be can occur in that uh, sputtering process. We uh, eliminated the possibility, and then uh, we deposit atom by atom, one by one atom. So it in, uh, it sounds a little bit uh, simple, but it's not. In that, in that uh, technology, it is not simple, but during 20 years, uh, the technology experience, we developed the way how we can deposit atom by atom. So single atom can go to the, on that substrate everywhere. On any substrate, single atom can be adhesive, or how do I say? Yeah, yeah. at least, yeah, Ad 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 absolutely, yeah. at least. Yeah. 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 Who are your potential buyers for this? Actually, the uh, I'm in charge of the technical part, therefore our CEO, he will do uh, much better than me, but uh, as I know, uh, we want to collaborate with uh, some first band companies working with Samsung or uh, other uh, technology. So the flexible PCB board can be used for iPhone and Galaxy phone okay. at first. And also in that computer in the, as a, a flexible PCB board. And then you can also use this something bending a TV. And then in this case, we can also apply. And in other case, in audio system or in many different uh, facilities like MRI for medical purpose, and in the medical purpose, if you uh, use that single crystal wire for reactor, then you can improve that uh, signal very nicely because uh, the uh, medical signal is very small. And if you amplify it, then the noise signal at high frequency become much larger than the signal itself. Uh, when I asked before about like your, your target buyers or target consumers or target market, it can be used in such a wide variety of applications. It basically yeah. will replace yeah. anything up until this point that uses a flexible PCB in yeah. any application. Yeah. This technology can replace it. Yeah. Uh, being yeah. higher conductivity, no mm -hmm. noise, reduced yeah. noise. Mm -hmm. it's, Anything from our consumer electronics, of course, the general public is probably most interested in going in their cell phone because it's yeah, the general public. Yeah. But you're thinking obviously bigger than this. Mm. Going into medical devices, for medical example. Device, yeah. um, audio devices would also obviously be great. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, but yeah. medical yeah. devices, you know, really helping people too with this technology yeah. is, is, a, is a big personal goal of yeah. yours, correct? Yeah. So uh, at, at this moment, we are starting with the target of a uh, the electronic circuit using the uh, Teflon, but uh, of course my uh, my goal for the future we want to extend it to many different uh, areas. What you know? are your goals for the end of this year? So uh, actually, uh, this kind of a sample uh, in that size of a, size of this scale, so three inch, four inch, five inch, it is limited in size because uh, we are uh, working in lab level. But uh, after uh, 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 starting with the company, we want to uh, enlarge that uh, size of the uh, product. Therefore, we already uh, ordered that uh, large scale system, <clears throat> and then they, uh, it may be 
it makes possible to make uh, this uh, 50 centimeter by 50 centimeter size okay. deposition. And then uh, if we succeeded, then directly we can apply in many cases. So mass production is possible. Do you have a goal for next year per se, or do, yeah. you, do you see the goal at the end of this year and then three years later? Yeah. Uh, what, what are you kind of thinking as a, as a, as a short-term to, I don't know, mid-term to long-term span? Mm -hmm. do, do you want to start rolling out product by next year? Is, is that the goal? Yeah, yeah. That in the next year, maybe uh, at, at least we uh, will succeed to fabricate the, uh, the uh, shijepum. Uh, new, product. new product. New product. New product. We, we realize. And then after three years, maybe uh, we want to extend it to many different areas. And then the final goal of mine is actually uh, all single crystal material. Uh, we want to apply audio system and MRI and everywhere. So this is the reason why I uh, go to uh, Boston next year. So I collaborate with the people in Harvard Medical School, mm -hmm. and then they are working in the medical imaging region. And then uh, we decided to collaborate each other. So maybe uh, the actually I didn't know that the medical school people working with copper. Mm -hmm. So it sounds a little bit weird. Yeah, sure. But they said they use copper more than me, <laughs> more than us, because. <laughs> Uh, they uh, they are working in that uh, medical image area, so they need a high quality uh, conduct conducting metal. And now you have uh, the you have the highest quality conducting yeah, metal. Yeah, therefore now. it is a very adequate uh, uh, choice. And again, this is Jay with Aving News. We are here with uh, Professor Jung, who just in, uh, explained all the new technology he's working on. He is the CTO of CIT. Uh, thank you again so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll join you guys next time for another interview. Thank you thank so much. You. Thank you for your kindness. Yeah, thank yeah. you for your time. Yep.